Good morning, St. John family. We pray these announcements find each of you doing well in the name of the Lord and staying safe. Adult Combined Church School begins at 8.30 a.m. For more information, contact Mrs. Shirley Bailey. Our men's church school starts at 9.30 a.m. For more information, contact Mr. Lee Allen. Our women's Bread of Life class begins at 11 o'clock a.m. Contact Mrs. Brenda Kendrick for more information. Contact the church office to request your winter quarterly to be mailed to you, or you can come by and pick up a copy. You can also order an electronic quarterly on Amazon.com. On Wednesday, we will have noon Bible study at 12 p.m. and evening Bible study at 6 o'clock p.m. Check the website for more details. Church school for our youth and young adults begin each Sunday at 11 o'clock a.m. Contact the church office for the Zoom information. That number is 205-251-3764. For everyone who was born in the month of February, we want to wish you all a happy, happy birthday. St. John and Me presents Daughters of Abraham Women's Ministry. This will be held virtually on February 20th at 10 o'clock a.m. For more information, contact the church office at 205-251-3764. Now we have an announcement from the YPD. Hey, Super Bowl fans. Are you ready for Super Bowl for Kim? Yes? No? Maybe so? Well, for those that have decided and those that have not, the YPDs are asking for your help in gathering donations for the food pantry. There are two ways to donate. You can either make a monetary contribution or you can donate canned goods. If you would like to make a monetary contribution, you can do it the same way that you type. For instance, if you type through Cash App, in the memo section, just simply put Super Bowl for Care. However, if you would like to donate canned goods, please bring them down to the church so they can be collected. Super Bowl fans, we know that we'll see you soon. So thank you so much for your donation. Be blessed and have a great day. soul and all that is within me bless his holy name we bless God because he's worthy to be praised saints it is a blessing praise the Lord to be able to share uh, with you to exalt to magnify the name that God is exalted above all names for truly he alone is worthy to be praised amen our doxology praise God from whom all blessings flow praise him all creatures here below praise him above ye heavenly hosts Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost.
call to worship. Give unto the Lord, O ye mighty. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. The God of glory thundereth. The Lord is upon many waters. The Lord will give strength unto his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. A hymn of celebration, leaning on the everlasting arms. What a fellowship, what a joy divine, leaning on the everlasting arms. What a blessedness, what a peace is mine, leaning on the everlasting arms. Leaning, leaning, safe and secure from all alarms. Leaning, leaning, leaning on the everlasting arms. Without any further lining of today's hymn of celebration, please join us as our brother Carde Muhammad will lead us in leaning on the everlasting arms.
Lord of St. John, this is February the 7th. Let us bow our head for a moment of prayer, please. Oh, most gracious Heavenly Father, right now, Father, we come the most honor possible way that we can. And most of all, Father, we come to you thanking you for loving and blessing us and keep us. Father, we can't do anything without you. Right now, Lord, we need you more so than ever before. Father, we just want to thank you for everything that's going on. Lord, we just want to thank you. Lord, bless the sick and the shedding and bless the homeless. Lord, bless us this day. Lord, we need you right now. Now, Lord, bless the scientists, the doctors, the nurses, first responders, also the healthcare workers, as they bring some relief for this COVID-19. Oh, Lord, Father, it's going to be done. Only you can do it, Lord, in due time. And then, Father, when you do it, you're going to make us better towards mankind and love one another. Father, we need you right now. Lord, thank you for this prayer. And most of all, Father, I just want to thank you for waking me up this morning, showing me another day, a day I see and I never will see again. Lord, I cannot pay you, but I can say I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Now, Lord, bless the sick and the shelter and bless families. Thank you, Lord, for right now. This was in Jesus' name this day. Amen. Amen. Good morning, St. John's family and friends. Today's scripture is Mark 1 verses 29 through 39, and it reads as follows. As soon as they left the synagogue, they entered the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John. Now Simon's mother-in-law was in bed with a fever, and they told him about her at once. He came and took her by the hand and lifted her up. Then the fever left her, and she began to serve them. That evening at sunset, they brought to him all who were sick or possessed with demons. And the whole city was gathered around the door. And he cured many who were sick with various diseases and cast out many demons. And he would not permit the demons to speak because they knew him. In the morning, while it was still very dark, he got up and went out to a deserted place. And there he prayed. And Simon and his companions hunted for him. When they found him, they said to him, everyone is searching for you. He answered, let us go on to the neighboring towns so that I may proclaim the message there also. For that is what I came out to do. And he went throughout Galilee, proclaiming a message in their synagogues and casting out demons. Amen. Our Decalogue Contemporary. Hear the commandments of God to his people. I am the Lord your God who brought you out of bondage. You shall have no other gods but me. You shall not make for yourself any idol. You shall not invoke with malice the name of the Lord your God. Remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. Honor your father and your mother. You shall not commit murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not be a false witness. You shall not covet anything that belongs to your neighbor. Lord, have mercy upon us and write these laws upon our hearts. Beloved, we give God praise. We continue to bless the Lord God. We continue to thank God for all that is done and all that God is doing. Praise the Lord. We have gone through a lot and we are yet going through, but we can still declare that the greater one lives and dwells down on the inside of us. May we continue to keep in contact with one another by calling, sending cards, sending text messages, just letting each other know how much we love them and that we're praying for them. Uh, every now and then I'll receive a call you know, from one of the members or I'm talking with them because I've called them and then they will share with me how they've received the call from you and how so many people are calling just to check on one another since that's a blessing and it makes us feel very, very good to know that we have not forgotten. We know the Lord is with us and he's promised that he would never leave us and never forsake us. But just to know that our brothers and our sisters and members of our church are always thinking about us. So continue to do what you're doing because it's, uh, people are being blessed and they're not um, without thanksgiving just to know that they're being loved. At this time in our worship experience, we prepare to receive our tithes, our offerings, and our benevolent gifts. Scripture says, My God makes all grace abound toward me in every favor and earthly blessing. 
so that I have all sufficiency for all things and are bound to every good work. 2 Corinthians 9, 8. I am blessed in the city, blessed in the field, blessed coming in and blessed going out. My laying down, my rising up. I am blessed in the basket and blessed in my bank accounts, investments, health and relationships. They flourish. The blessing of the Lord overtake me in all areas of my life and I receive them. I am like a tree planted by the rivers of water. I bring forth fruit in my season. My leaf shall not wither and whatever I do will prosper. So the blessing of the Lord makes truly rich and he adds no sorrow with it. And we give God praise and we honor the Lord God that his word is true. Praise the Lord and God watches over his word to bring it to pass. As we now lift up our tithes and our offerings and benevolent gifts unto the Lord. Gracious and merciful Father, we thank you so much, Lord God, for just blessing us to be a blessing. We thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that you are so faithful to who you are, a covenant God. Lord, as we bring our tithes and our offerings and benevolent gifts to you, Lord God, we praise you, Father, for your blessings upon us. For, Lord God, we don't give but grudgingly nor of necessity, for you love a cheerful giver. So we cheerfully give for the continued upbuilding of your kingdom. Lord God, and we give you praise, we give you honor, we give you glory. In the name of Jesus we pray, amen. And remember, my beloved, there are different platforms and ways that you can give. You can continue to give through Givelify, PayPal, Cash App, and of course, mailing your tithes, your offerings, and your benevolent gifts into the church. For truly, we cannot beat God's giving, no matter how much we try. And we're just so grateful, grateful, grateful uh, for the giving uh, that you're doing. There are things that are taking place at the church, and for that we continue to give God praise because it could not happen without your blessed giving. So we thank you for giving.
no one knew that he had such a blessed voice and so we thank you for just allowing the Lord God to use you and it's good seeing you and may the Lord just continue to bless you in a very special way now if you have your Bibles with you I'll ask that you please turn with me amen to the gospel according to St. Mark the first chapter verses 40 through 45 again that's Mark's gospel the first chapter Verses 40 through 45. And it reads out of the English Standard Version of the Bible. And a leopard came to him, imploring him, and kneeling said to him, If you will, you can make me clean. Moved with pity, he stretched out his hand and touched him and said to him, I will be clean. And immediately the lepros leprosy left him. And he was made clean. And Jesus sternly charged him and sent him away at once and said to him, See that you say nothing to anyone, but go, show yourself to the priests and offer for your cleansing what Moses commanded for a proof to them. But he went out and began to talk freely about it and to spread the news so that Jesus could no longer openly enter a town but was out in desolate places, and people were coming to him from every quarter. Praise the Lord. I just want to use for a subject on this morning, I can't help but tell it. I can't help but tell it. Now we know, praise the Lord, that there are times that we are moving out in life, and uh, we just um, realize that this, the tongue, praise the Lord, it can share a whole lot of things. But the mouth, the tongue does not always share good things. Praise the Lord. If it's mess, if it's gossip, praise the Lord. It's all over town before you know it. But it's not often that we always share the good things. So in today's text, we find that uh, there was a leopard who came to Jesus, imploring him and kneeling, saying to him, that if you will, you can make me clean. Now, of course, Mark has already recorded several healings, several miracles um, taking place because the ministry of Jesus had started when Jesus came out of the wilderness after he had been filled with the power of the Spirit and he had been tempted. He went about doing good and healing all manner of sickness and disease. Now, of course, we know that if one was considered to be a, uh, have leprosy, they were considered unclean, and that they would not be able to be among the people, so they were marginalized, they were outcasts. And of course, who wanted to be in the presence of someone with leprosy? But now we know that Jesus, praise the Lord, that he came to bring healing and deliverance. So here now he encounters the leper. And the leper says, if you can, you can make me clean. He says, he's asking, he's making a statement. If you can, you can make me clean. So Jesus was moved with pity. He's a God of compassion. He's a God of love. Not desiring to see that any of us would perish. Not desiring to see, 
that were suffering with so many things. So he was moved with pity, and he stretched out his hand, and then he touched him. Now think about it. Anytime somebody would touch someone with leprosy because it was contagious, then of course they were running that risk also to be um, take on this, this contagious disease. But Jesus not being afraid because he was here to do the will of the Father, to bring healing and to bring deliverance to those, to those that were bound. And the scripture says, glory to God, and he touched him and said, I will be clean. So now Jesus is letting him know, yes, I will do this. And then immediately the leprosy left him and he was made clean. Well, my beloved, there are things that we may be going through in life and we're wondering, we're wondering if Jesus, glory to God, uh, will be moved with pity, will be moved with compassion on some of the things that we're going through. Jesus says, I will. Whatever you're going through, the Lord is saying to us, I can be there, I'm there with you. Praise the Lord. And so he finds that he was immediately made clean and Jesus tells him, now don't tell anybody, but he sent him away. And then we find the scripture says that when he did that, he was sending him to the priest. So that's part of the Mosaic law, that any time someone is made clean, then they have to be declared clean also by the priest. But Jesus was telling him, see that you say nothing to anyone. Now, can you just imagine the Lord touching your life? The Lord moving and doing a miracle that you could not do for yourself? Do you think that we would be able to hold that within ourselves? I don't know about you, beloved, but praise the Lord. That when I called upon the Lord and I asked him, Lord, are you able to save me? Praise the Lord. Amen. And Jesus said, I came to save. I came to give life and I came to give it more abundantly. But that was not anything that I could withhold. I needed to be a witness of the power of God. But in today's text, Jesus is saying, see that you say nothing to anyone. Because Jesus needed to be able to move about freely to do that which the Father had called him to do. But he says, go and show yourself to the priest and offer for your cleansing what Moses commanded for a proof. Text says, but he went and he began to talk freely about it and to spread the news. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. When the Lord touches us, praise God, as the song says, he touched me. Glory to God. And he made me whole. That's exactly what Jesus has done in this text. He touched him. And he was made whole. Praise the Lord. And even now, saints, the Lord God is desiring to touch us. He's desiring, amen, that we be filled with his power. He's desiring that we seek him, knowing that as we seek the Lord God, he shall be found. He's asking us, go ahead and knock so that the door can be opened. And that's what the Lord wants us to do. He wants us to come to him and just ask him. He's there to give and to manifest himself in our hearts and in our lives, glory to God. But I tell you, beloved, that when you've been touched by the power of God, when you've been healed of your brokenness, when the, your eyes have been opened because you were blind to the things of God, when you go forth and your life is no longer the same, it's going to be hard, praise the Lord. Even when Jesus told him, don't tell anybody. I can only imagine how difficult it would be Amen. To be touched by the true and the living God and not to be able to tell somebody. Amen. It's like, look, come see a man like the lady. Praise the Lord. Come see a man that told me all that I've done. Praise the Lord. Just like the man when Jesus was, when he healed him of his blindness, he went into the synagogue and he began to praise and worship and magnify the Lord. And they wanted to know who did this. Amen. And the man says, I don't know. Glory to God. All I do know is this, that I was blind, but now I see glory to God. Amen. It's just like when the Lord touches us and he brings us out of a sinful world into a life of holiness, a life of righteousness where we lie no more, but we tell the truth. Glory to God. We can't help but tell somebody about a man named Jesus. Glory to God. How God, praise the Lord, sent him into the world. Amen. To die for our sins and to give us life and to be able to give it more abundantly. I don't know about you, but I can't help but tell it. Glory to God. Amen. The Bible says that Satan is defeated by the blood of the Lamb and not worried about testimony. Has the Lord God done anything for you lately? Praise the Lord.
Lord. Uh, amen. Are you telling somebody about a man named Jesus, one that will give you life, one that will take away your sins, one that will make the crooked places straight, one that will open doors that no man can shut, one that can reconcile and give life, one that's still able to raise that from the dead. Amen. Whatever your situation may be, the Lord God says, I will make it well. Glory to God. So I don't know about you today, but I can't help but tell the good news of what Jesus has done for me. And I know it was hard, praise the Lord, for this leper to be able to keep that to himself. And people saw him moving about. I'm sure they did. And was wondering, glory to God, weren't you just a leper? Praise the Lord. Amen. But I'm sure he was saying, but I encountered a man named Jesus. Glory to God. And he touched me and he made me whole. I don't know what you're going through right now, my beloved. Praise the Lord. But if you need a touch, if you need a change in your life, if you will call upon the name that God has exalted above all names, if you call on the only name that man may be saved, the mighty name of Jesus. Glory to God. Jesus of Nazareth. And we know that God will do exceedingly and abundantly in your life that nobody else can do. Praise the Lord. That's why we praise him. Amen. If he's filled you with the power of the Holy Ghost, then you've got something down on the inside that you just cannot, amen, shut it down. Praise God because he's working on the inside as the song says. Amen. He's working on the inside doing a mighty work on the outside. So saints, I just want to lift him up with you. Just want to magnify God and to give him praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you magnify him, if you worship him, if you tell somebody, glory to God, what the Lord God has done uh, in your life, uh, you'll be like the lady, amen, that was at the well. Say, give me that living water that I'll thirst no more. I'm telling you, saints, that you'll get to the place in your life where you began to say, can't nobody do me like Jesus. Glory to God. Can't nobody do me like the Lord. Uh, he will be a friend that sticks closer than a brother, even when our mothers and our fathers forsake take him, us glory to God. The Lord says, I will take you up and I will be everything that you need. Well, who is this Jesus? Glory to God. He's the one that was in the beginning when he said, let us make man into our own image. He's the one that came through many generations. Glory to God. He came as a baby born in a, a, a manger by a virgin named Mary. Glory to God. He came and he grew up and he grew strong in the word. He grew strong in the spirit. Praise the Lord. And in that appointed time. Amen. He was baptized and then the fire of the Holy Ghost rested upon him and he went about doing good, healing all manner of sickness and disease. And I'm learning that he's the same God yesterday, today, and forever. He's the one that was, is, and truly the one that's going to come again. He's the one that they hung on an old rugged cross. Glory to God. He's the one that they buried in a borrowed tomb. He's the one that on the third day, hallelujah, through the power of God and the Holy Spirit, that God raised him from the dead. He's the one now that's making constant intercession on our behalf, sitting at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. I don't know about you, but I can't help but tell the good news of what Jesus has done in my life uh, and what the Lord God is still doing, uh, conforming us uh, to the very image uh, of the Lord God Almighty, the Son uh, of the true and the living God. Uh, what about you today, my beloved? Has the Lord touched you? Has the Lord done anything for you? Praise the Lord. He says, if you don't praise me, the rocks are going to cry out. So we give God praise and we honor the Lord today for what God has done and what God is yet doing. And for that we thank him. Because I just can't help but tell the good news of Jesus the Christ who came to save and to give life and to give it more abundantly. There may be someone out there, praise the Lord, you may not have leprosy, but there is something going on in your life being marginalized. People are casting you aside. But Jesus came so that you can be saved, that you can be set free. The Bible says, in whom the Son sets free is free indeed. He said, but you must come. Come repentant, repenting of your sins, believing that he's the Son of God, and then he died on the cross for your sins. And if you believe that and confess it with your mouth, the word of God says, confession is made unto salvation. 
I want to take a moment to pray for you and believe. The leper asked the question, if you will, you can make me clean. And Jesus said to him, I will be clean. We ask him the question whether he can save us. He says, I will save you. The Bible says he will in no wise cast out those that call upon his name. So as we pray and you call it upon the name of Jesus, believe and you shall receive. Father in heaven, we thank you for your grace that's so amazing. We thank you, Father, for what you've done. For those who've called upon your name, glory to God. Lord God, as that one sheep is out there calling upon your name, you leave the 99 to just go after that one. Hear that person's faintest cry, Lord God, and answer by blessing them with the gift of grace that they too may be saved. And we thank you for it, and we give you praise, Father. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. And the Lord minister to you and touch you and you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart. Amen. And give us a call here at St. John at 205-251-3764. We'll be happy to talk with you, to encourage you, and to help you to walk on this journey, this new life where old things are passed away and all things have become new. May the Lord God be with you in a very, very special way. Thank you. As we now prepare for our Holy Communion, we know that the Lord God is still blessing and there is a fountain filled with blood. Praise the Lord. You that do truly and honestly repent of your sins and are in love and charity with your neighbor and intend to lead a new life following the commandments of God and walking from henceforth in his holy ways, draw near with faith and take this holy sacrament to your comfort and make your humble confession to Almighty God, meekly kneeling as you're able. The General Confession. Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, maker of all things, judge of all men, we acknowledge and bewail our manifold sins and wickedness, which we from time to time most grievously have committed by thought, word, and deed against your divine majesty, provoking most justly your wrath and indignation against us. We do honestly repent and heartily sorrow for these our misdoings. The remembrance of them is grievous unto us. Have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. Most merciful Father, for your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ's sake. Forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may hereafter serve and please you in newness of life. To the honor and glory of your name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of your great mercy has promised forgiveness of sins to all them that with hearty repentance and true faith turn unto you. Have mercy upon us, pardon and deliver us from all our sins. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness and bring us to everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord, amen. Almighty God, unto whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. It is very meet, right, and our bounden duty that we shall at all times and in all places give thanks unto you, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Everlasting God. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we lord and magnify your holy name, evermore praising you and saying, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, 
Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Glory be to you, O Lord, most high. Amen. We do not presume to come to this your table, O merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in your manifold and great mercies. We're not worthy so much as to gather crumbs under your table. But you are the same Lord whose property is always to have mercy. Grant us, therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of your dear son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that our sinful souls and bodies may be made clean by his death and washed through his blood, and that we may evermore dwell in him and he in us. Amen. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of your tender mercy did give your only son, Jesus Christ, to suffer death on the cross for our redemption, who made that by his oblation of himself, once offered a full, perfect, and sufficient sacrifice, oblation and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world, and did institute and in his holy gospel command us to continue perpetual memory of that his precious death until his coming again. Hear us, O merciful Father, we most humbly beseech you and grant that we, receiving these, your creatures of bread and wine, according to your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ's holy institution, in remembrance of his death and passion, may be partakers of his most blessed body and blood, who in the same night that it was betrayed, he took bread. When he had given thanks, he broke it, and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take eat, for this is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink all of it, for this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many for the remissions of sins, do this as often as you shall drink it in remembrance of me. The body of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ that was broken for me, I take and eat in remembrance of his love for me. And the shed blood of Jesus that was shed on Calvary for my sins and the sins of the world. I take and drink in remembrance of his love. Now, my beloved, for this is the body of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ that was broken for you. Take and eat in remembrance of God's love for you. And on the same night that Jesus was betrayed, he took the cup and when he had given thanks, he gave it to his disciples and told them to drink all of it and to do it in remembrance of him. Take and drink, beloved, in remembrance of God's love for you. But truly, what can wash away our sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make us whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Let us pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, 
thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not in temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, we, your humble servants, desire your fatherly goodness, mercifully to accept this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, most humbly beseeching you to grant that by the merits and death of your Son, Jesus Christ, and through faith in his blood, that we and your whole church may obtain remissions of our sins and all other benefits of his passion. And here we offer and present unto you, O Lord, ourselves, our souls and bodies, to be a reasonable, holy, and living sacrifice unto you, humbly beseeching you that all who are partakers of this holy communion may be filled with your grace and heavenly benediction. We beseech you to accept this, our bounden duty and service, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses. Through Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory be unto you, O Father, almighty, world without end. Amen. My beloved, we give God praise and we honor and we bless the Lord as we now affirm our faith through the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. And the third day he arose from the dead. He ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the church universal, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. place our setting beloved but never the presence of God so now father we thank you Lord God for the souls that were saved today Lord God we praise you Lord God in the name of Jesus that I just can't help but tell it father we thank you Lord God may the Holy Spirit your sweet sweet Holy Spirit continue to be within our hearts Lord God and father God in the name of Jesus that Lord God that you continue to bless our coming in and our going out as we prepare to leave this place in our setting, but never your spirit, may you, the sweet communion continue to rest, rule, and abide within each and every heart, henceforth and forevermore. And the people of God agree by saying, Amen. <laughs>